Now, what are the signs of sine of negative 210 degrees and cosecant of negative 210 degrees? And I encourage you to pause this and try this on your own. Well, let's draw ourselves a unit circle, because we're going to have to use the unit circle definition of trig functions to come up with what the sine and cosecant of negative 210 degrees are. So let's draw a unit circle. This is my best attempt, not too bad. So there you go. There's my unit circle. It's a circle of radius, circle of radius one. So for example, this right here is the point one comma zero, and I could do that all the way around the circle. We've seen this many, many times. Now let's draw our angle, this angle of negative 210 degrees. Well, as always, the convention is to draw the initial side of your angle along the positive x-axis, so just like that. And now, to think about which direction we rotate in to, to place our terminal side, we look at the sign. If this was a positive sign, we would go counterclockwise. Since this is a negative sign, the convention is to go clockwise. So we are going to go clockwise. And we have to ask ourselves, how far do we have to rotate clockwise? Well, if we rotate this far, that would be negative 90 degrees. If we were to do that much again, that's negative 180 degrees. So to get to negative 210, we have to go another negative 30 degrees. So we have to go about that far into what is this is the second quadrant. And so we end up, we end up with our angle looking something like this, looking something like this. Now. How do we figure out the value of, say, sine of an angle using the unit circle definition? Well, the unit circle definition of trig functions tells us that where the terminal side of our angle intersects the unit circle, the coordinate of this point gives us both the cosine of that angle and the sine of that angle. So this co the coordinate of this point is cosine negative 210 degrees. That's the x-coordinate, and sine of negative 210 degrees. The sine of this angle is just the y coordinate of where the terminal side intersects the unit circle. Well, is that going to be a positive or a negative y coordinate? Well, you see that point is above the x-axis. This is a positive value of y. So that tells us that tells us that the sine of negative 210 degrees is going to be is going to be positive. Now, given that, can we think about what the sine of the cosecant of negative 210 degrees is going to be? Well, by definition, by definition, cosecant of negative 210 degrees is just the reciprocal of sine. Sine of negative 210 degrees. And if I take the reciprocal of a positive number, if I take 1 and I divide that by a positive number, what am I going to get? Well, I'm going to get another positive number. I'm going to get another positive number. So the signs of both sine of negative 210 degrees and cosecant of negative 210 degrees are both positive. 